there's a place where fear has to face the God you know. One more day, he will make a Cause you're not alone, so you're not alone. I would say stand, but probably move close to your TV. This is more probably the appropriate thing to say. Praises rising, eyes for you. We long for you, because when we see you, his name. You know, I thought key changes and capo changes would be a little bit less awkward with <laughs>
So glad to uh, have you join us today. We want to welcome you, uh, especially tell others, make sure they know that this is the way we're going to be doing things, at least for a little bit, and uh, connected, because even though you might not physically be here, we know that we're in spirit, and, and we're just grateful for that. So uh, can we join together as uh, we go before the Lord? Father, we come to you, we thank you, we love and that Father fellowship is still happening. Even though it's not a physical thing, we're grateful that, God, we have connection, fellowship time, and experience together to you. We ask, Lord, that each and every one time of fellowship with you and with one another. God, we're grateful. We give you the thanks. Strange knocking on the door. The race we've been running has an end. Don't you see? Here he comes. He trembles as your saints.
sovereign and you control all things. While our events have occurred in the last few weeks, our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, and Father, keep our focus on you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's our Father's world. Let me begin by asking you a question today. Have you ever had a moment like that at the beginning of my ministry years? Uh, it was within my first church, actually. I was living and working in... God had closed that chapter within my life, and there was not a clear path. You're not sure what the next situation's going to be. There's, there's not a very clear... My dad taught me that. Very important that if you're going to leap... I started going on interviews. I started looking at all kinds of places that I could try and, you know, get sales. I tried computers. I tried, you know, copiers. I tried even fast food. And it was so frustrating. My wife and I, we enlisted, you know, air warriors like crazy. And, and it was not long after talking with them. And, and I told them what was going on. I told them where we were at and what we were facing. And, and which I, it was kind of a cool shock to me. And, and I was glad that he reached out to me in that way. And he lived in Tucson. So he told me, he said, this is what I want you to consider. I want you to keep me ultimately in that moment with a true step of faith in terms of superior. I had to move. And in Tucson, I had nowhere to move. And who you saw was on the end of the stage there. And uh, <laughs> we had no health coverage. And so I did that. I felt good about it. And as you know it, every time it ended up with the same thing, around in my head, okay? And, and, and basically, yet even though nothing was certain or sure of God, we ultimately said as to what it would take in terms of what answer specifically that again and again and again, I can't stress it enough, it is a valuable scripture we did. We prayed, we said, God, here's the deal, these are the things we need, you've said, family, and it came everything that we needed, not that we were dancing them around, but that Tucson it is, that's where we're going. So I called that pastor, and I told him, and I said, we're moving. I called U-Haul, and I secured a truck in order to be able to, uh, to about around 1 o'clock. No joke. <laughs> or Kanaka, or however you want to. The guy called me. He's like, hey, I got this job for you. I want to offer it to you. He, oh, did you get another job? <laughs> but I know that that's what we're personally. And I don't need it. Didn't I say, hey, yeah, sure. I was resolved. I was out of faith, my <laughs> Fully mid things that are uncertain was God's already got plans in lower right. Sorry. During such the sure and unsick come to this place of ultimately it's the best that we may. You and I are he got decision waver upon it. Guys, I, 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 it, it, but I, in this journey, some with pain and then through His Word. Every child of God, right? He wants you to know. And shout out to all James chapter one. Praise you. We just ask it. I love the book of James. How many of you love the trying and difficult times? No, knows us, and ultimately, he's guiding us through Sioux Living Translation. This is what it says. Twelve tribes, the Jewish believers scattered abroad. They think that this letter was written. Many commentators over 15 to 20 years post the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The half-brother of Jesus, who received a special Res it's, James is the half brother of Christ. Now, coolest post resurrection experience that it, we know, and it goes on to that there was other involvement. James had a lot of real encounter with Christ. I mean, you know, Christ, my life was never the same. And it gives you hope of what's to come. It gives you hope not only of being indwells me. And then, not only that, is it not only life changing, but they mock the whole thing about how could that he came here. That he was born on the cross on the third day, he rose again, and right met him. You, you can't stay the same. It never, as each of us who come to faith are never the same. But why doesn't he say that fully, ultimately, who Christ really is? Than that, he is the Savior. The man can be saved, and I'm grateful for that. There's no can you come to to accept Jesus as your Savior and your own. You belong to the king of kings it's called doulos. That's the, the, the word in the original language. And, and of servitude to another. I mean, how amazing is that? What a blessing. that, that and, and this is true. This is true of you and me. Not only of him then, but we. And you know what? We are, are taught in the scriptures what it tells us. 
calls us in his word that we are his sons. And as that, guys, is that not amazing or what? Incredible. A relationship with brothers and sisters, okay, who belong to Christ and they're scattered abroad. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Here's the deal. When power and different leaders came in and came out, and, Ult- and Nero, Nero came into this scene, in fact, uh, towards the end. So, so we see all that, and it ultimately it grants going on to the church. We did see this. In fact, it's, it's crazy what Nero did. And by COVID-19, but yes, I mean, that's a different story. Or that the time of James <clears throat> right now, a lot of weirdness, right? Can I get an amen to that? Holy cow. Change and go down even more. I don't know. But that's, that's just a weirdness. I'm so annoyed every time you go down to the store that shelves are just gu- It's confusing right now, right? <clears throat> confusing to what? All dying. I mean, it's, it's legit. People are really dying right now. And it's, it's, as ago, he said it's already in 147 countries. Now, it's just, it's just crazy how this stuff's... He's not caught off guard. He's not unsurprised. This isn't something that... Here's his thought. He sets up the understanding of what's going on. Now he's going to set. That is that we understand he loves each and every one of us. So now he sets the pattern for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, nothing. It's kind of a strange way for him to begin, right? We've talked about it. An opportunity for great joy. We got coronavirus, COVID-19. Smaller groups, less than 10. So the question that we must ask is this. Jesus returns. How in the world can we say in this moment that this all things? Can I get an amen to that? Ultimately, and loves you as his children. When you and I have the resolve that God loves us fully, that we matter to him. Because what does he say to you and I as followers of Christ? He says what? He says, oh, see, our opportunity here for great joy. It's is what we experience when God guides us. We're going to come through this, church. We're going to all come through this. And here's the testimony of the saving and loving power of Jesus Christ. And encourage others to trust him as well. So this opportunity, is anybody's faith being tested right now? Are you going through that? Got this, and he has you. You got a big is your God. Is he small? Is he kind of wimpy? And whom fit and, and fashioned and knit you and I together all. That he's got this, he's got this, and he's got you. And patience, patience right now is the endurance that you and I have. We have to be during this struggle and, and during this difficulty. I mean, all of these things are having an opportunity. Try that again. All right, so here's the thing. Endurance has to have a chance to grow. And, and what do you think? See, maturity in Christ, really what it trust in Jesus. I mean, as we go through things, as through, when he does, that resolve just sinks deeper in, rooted in deeper. Maturity, here's the deal. It only comes through times. Going through this in some respects, but then in other opportunities, I'm saying, well, God, and we fully trust Christ for everything. Comes so important that the church that we must encourage, church, we have an incredible opportunity in front. I mean, ultimately, many might even be thinking or feeling, how in the world can I do this? How is it possible for me? Especially all kinds of means and ways in which to, to con- connect with one another. I mean, we have, now is the time, church, that we have to rise, you clusters for prayer and for fellowship and, and for encouragement, and we just need to be more creative. Strange. You ready? In these next crazy on me yet, but follow with me in this. Friends and people that we have that are right near us. We've been given a gift to, to took the time to write a letter or a card that you're actually doing it. Not only that, but you can compose emails. See, that's why I'm looking at this moment like it's a gift. It's a gift. It's all in this moment of pausing. We need to make the most of it. But in a different way, as an opportunity for joy and refreshment and an opportunity to Christ. So as we wrap this up today, as we care, he's not caught by surprise. He's not any of this. None belong to him. And you are fully his children as he loves you. He knows every bit of it. He has encouraged you and I 
to stay the course. So circumstance that we might face. We might be temporarily and plan it deeply. Help us to rest, solved to trust in you. God, you've told us not to worry about anything as you tell us in flesh. God, to you and you alone, may you encourage you here uh, during this time as we do these broadcasts. So I want to encourage you that if there's email, and we'll make sure that whatever we need to get or provide or in any way. I've gotten either a phone call or a text message from a very short last week. Uh, I, for those who are here, I invited us at the same time. So I apologize if, if some of that was confusing, if it uh, kind of smoothed out some of the bumps. It's going to be a, a much easier. We will be on top. We'll be monitoring, watching what's going on. So if you ever need anything, regard, again, uh, as toilet to be able to, to love on one another. In fact, next week's message, in contact, or, or, or those that might, that some people that didn't get contacted this way, would you, through that text or email, there's not going to be any church gatherings here. Okay, across the board, every life group ministry, everything that we have meeting midweek and even on home. Okay, if you haven't subscribed, which is right over there, do so. You need to. We're not quite having so many days in between the time that we have connected to the channel, so that way you'll get those alerts and updates when we go live. Okay, so please stay in touch with. Well, you have some options. www.cac dash bring up something, and you can actually give right there. And that continue to work. So you can go snail mail the old-fashioned way. Right one. You just go in and do it. Okay, so through one of the glass doors, we're going to be looking to provide a... Those announcements I got, church, we love you. And we're so glad. Pray for all the experts as they try to figure out how to better you and encourage everyone in this body. To just, we pray, Father, that you give us a great week. That, Father, that as an opportunity for joy. And that, Father, creatively... May we look to you this week for...